say you will. You can have all the greatest material gifts and all the toys in the world, but if you don't have someone to love, or if you don't love yourself, you really don't have anything. It's a part of who we are. It's what makes us who we are. We need to be loved. We need to be loved starting with ourselves and then hopefully if you're blessed to have that special soulmate to share that love as we see in Mark and Sherry today. I won't sleep with you forever and I won't die with you. St. Paul reminds you and all of us that when we talk about that kind of love, we're talking about the kind of love that is unconditional, in which you are willing to lay down your life for the other. We gather here in the church in the presence of God and the presence of Jesus, and we have our greatest example with Christ living on the cross. I'm going to be here for you from now on. This you know somehow You've been stretched to the limit But it's all right now so Your love must be one in which you have patience and kindness I'm gonna make you It's a love in which you are patient with each other One that you want to see the other person succeed And you're happy when they do It's a believing in each other As you do today hoping and dreaming in a future which will be happy and be there for each other. As friends and families that are gathered here today, people that you work with, they're here to support your new life. As we roll down this unfamiliar road, I don't know if for Mark, if it's like that first reading where you're springing across the mountain or leaping across the hill, but we know this is a special day for both of you. Deep waters cannot quench our love, nor floods sweep it away. And so we congratulate you and we simply ask you to always remember the simple message Jesus gave in the gospel, and that is to simply love one another. Oh, 
Johnson's. They're one of our favorite. We always try to go to them when they're close our by. Favorite. Or our favorite. <laughs> okay. I'm, I stand corrected. <laughs> 